Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a polyps in the uterine cavity, endometrial polyps. Most endometrial polyps are benign, but between 2 to 4 percent of them are pre benignant or malignant. Polyps often suspected on transvaginal ultrasound. Polyps are best diagnosed with a stereoscope a technique known as diagnostic stereoscopy. You can see the uterus having a large polyp in the uterine cavity in the middle and distal portion of the uterine cavity. The polyps, this is a large polyp and causing symptoms it measures about 4.8 cm into 1.8 cm. Again, you can see the polyp. If uterine polyps is suspected, transvaginal ultrasound may be required. Polyps may be clearly visible as an area of thickened endometrial tissue. Although endometrial polyps may be visualized at transvaginal ultrasound, a non specific endometrial thickness, they may also be identified as focal pear shaped masses within the endometrial canal. Now you can see the blood flow. There is no significant blood flow seen in the polyp. Again you can see the polyps in the uterine cavity. Experts do not know exactly why the women get uterine polyps. It may be linked to changes in hormones levels. Each month estrogen levels rise and in females and fall, causing the lining of the uterus to thicken and then shed during the periods. Polyps form when too much of that lining grows. Again, you can see the blood flow. There are some symptoms caused by these polyps. A typical uterus with adenomyosis is bloated and enlarged. Symptoms of adenomyosis include abnormal uterine bleeding and pelvic pain. Approximately 60% of Women with adenomyosis experience abnormal uterine bleeding and 25% experience dysmenorrhea, that is pelvic pain during menstruation. Polyps cause symptoms because they dangle from their stalk and irritate the surrounding tissue, which causes the tissue to rub off, exposing tiny blood vessels. These Blood vessels bleed, leading to spotting or vaginal bleeding. If polyps interfere with the egg and sperm, it may make it hard to get pregnant. The polyp is clearly visible. This is the uterine polyp. Once identified, polyps can be removed surgically through a stereoscope. Removal of polyp is, is advisable in all women with symptoms and in post mesopausal women. A, a stereoscopic removal of uterine polyps can be performed without anesthesia or un under local anesthesia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button.